Good morning, everyone. This is Dan with Senior E-Bike Nation. Hey, we're uh, taking a little short ride down here um, to the uh, lake here in the local little area here. Beautiful scenery out here. But uh, yeah, it'd just be a good place to uh, get a couple of still photos and a little bit about the uh, bike. Um, this is called the OptiBike. And with this bike, turn it around here. This thing is uh, very comfortable. This bike only weighs 37 pounds. I could easily put this up in the rafters in my garage if I need to store it. And uh, a couple things about this bike. It's got a 37 volt battery that's in this down tube. This is an internal battery. You're not gonna get it out. It's designed for that. And this bike also has five pedal assist. Turn on the controller here. And as you can see, you can go up and down. Uh, or you can go all the way down to zero and ride it like a regular bike. But yeah, it, uh, very comfortable bike. It'll do 20 mile an hour. And uh, it's just very comfortable to ride. And it's also got a 500 watt rear hub motor on here. Let me double check that. It could be 350, but I'm thinking it's 500. And it's also belt driven. This is the most unique part of this bike that I like is the belt driven. I think that um, e-bike companies need to, need to get away from six, seven, up to nine speed uh, cassette shifters and go down to a belt drive. Most people don't shift their bike on an e-bike they usually use the throttle something of that nature so yeah the belt driven is a great concept it's very quiet and uh, it's got a nice headlight on it i have not put on the tail light that came with it but i will be installing that and uh yeah just from a um perspective of simplistic this is a bike for the minimalist, and it's an e-bike. As I mentioned, <clears throat> excuse me, it'll do 20 mile an hour, which is fast enough. And got a nice little logo. They're out of uh, Colorado. And I think it may be 160 millimeter um, rotor on there. I'm not 100% sure. It's also got Shimano hydraulic brakes on it, which is quality brakes. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this thing. It's just an absolutely beautiful bike. And I wouldn't hesitate to take this bike anywhere. Um, it climbs hills very well too. I took it on a 16 mile ride the other day and it done extremely well. But yeah, we're going to uh, continue riding this bike a lot this year. This has probably become one of my favorite bikes to uh, review because it is so much fun to uh, ride. But anyway, I want to thank OptiBike for sending this bike to me to review. This is called the OptiBike Argon. This is their um, road bike, you may call it. This is more of a cruiser style bike. But anyway, it's a beautiful bike. I really enjoy riding it. It's got uh, really thin tires on it, which is good for a new bike. And it's also got uh, really good pedals on it. I got it very comfortable. It's got a quick lock disconnect on your front tire, which is really good. These are carbon fiber forks here. I really like to see that on this e-bike. That lightens the weight on the bike a lot. Again, the whole thing is only 37 pounds. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this thing. Share and like the video, hit that subscribe button. Hit any bell notifications for future videos coming out. And I will see you guys on the next video.